It is an amazing cast. You guys must have had so much fun shooting, but is there a particular memory that stands out? We were like fighting with the elements of nature quite a bit because it was super hot majority of the time. But I think my favorite scene, once again, was the, the roof stuff. Yeah. Roof yeah, stuff so there's really like a cool. whole roof sequence where we're, you know, we can't really talk about it, but there's like uh, one of the, the cast members gets dared to do something on a roof. And um, it was, it, it, for me, it was the scene with the most energy. We got to like run around and throw things, which was really fun. It was kind of choreographed too. Yeah. Yeah, and like there were some dance. cool shots. There was like drone shots and crane shots. I got to do like a lot of like cool little stunts, like pulling in to a spot really fast. I liked You're those. You're such a dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What was your favorite scary moment from the movie? Probably <laughs> when you choke me. Yep, and we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. I and wish that I could say what, was, what? What, what it says in the script. It says, imagine seeing one of your friends possess and then imagine having sex with one. Yeah. <laughs> and that's in, literally in the script, only Pretty he doesn't use sex. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, my, I think my favorite moment is there's someone that's on a pool table and it's in the trailer and he falls off and it's just like so cringeworthy and looks so real. Yeah, it's um, weird. And it's painful to watch. And like jumpy. Yes, it's a jump, jump scare moment for sure. Your character, Olivia, uh, she is not your, I guess your average horror film victim as such. Do you feel as if there are enough roles like this in Hollywood for women right now? I think we're getting better at having more roles like this. I mean, this is, it was definitely like a conscious decision on my part to choose a role that portrayed a strong female character who like takes charge, sticks up for her friends, sticks up for herself. Um, but you definitely see throughout like the arc of the movie, she starts off, she's a little naive. She's very sweet and you see like what this game does to her. And by the end, she's just like a total badass. Yeah. I loved it. She's tough. Um, but yeah, it was, it's, it's awesome to see women take charge. And I definitely think that there should be more roles like that. You want to play a strong, independent woman, don't you? That'd be really cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you feel as if there has been much of a shift in the conversation in Hollywood since movements like Me Too really picked up and like the Time's Up movement? I think so. I mean, I think that as long as conversations are started, I think that we'll see action towards it. I mean, um, at least that's all we can hope for. I think that it's amazing that all these people are coming forward and people that I look up to and that inspire me that are speaking about such important issues. But for me, what's even more important is that it you know, it can start in Hollywood and with the celebrities, but it's trickling down yeah. into everywhere across the world, which is like, you know, what we want.